Hey, what's up guys? This is Worse. Um, this is going to be a little different today. Uh, we're going to be um, just doing some second thoughts. It's going to be like a little mini discussion on... Yeah. We just watched Captain America Civil War again yeah. because we both couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. <laughs> just, uh, so we got our money in for second weekend, so that should help out with the box office. Uh, and rightfully so, because this movie is freaking good. It's really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. Uh, I'm pretty much here to just kind of take back everything I said, anything negatively about this film. Every single bit of it. So if you're here to stick around during this video, we'll give you fair warning. We are literally going to go into full-on spoilers. For me, the weakest points of the film were two things. And whether you got it from my review or not, I'll just say the two things that were the weakest to me had to be Zemo as a villain. I thought he was just kind of bland, kind of there, and just kind of was there to be like, oh, I was a character in the comics. Uh, here I am. Like... No. Well, it turns out he actually no. has a really, really big part in this movie. Yeah. Like, I really, didn't really give it much really, thought. Yeah. Like, I love him in this movie. It's it's a weird part to like. He's weird to like. But it's yes. it's a really good weird. Like, it's it, it gets the story, it gets deeper in the story, just the fact that he's he's there to simply break the Avengers apart. And that's, yes. that's it. That, that's all he's there to do, and then he does it. So, I mean, pretty much the only other negative I had was um, War Machine. It felt like he, he was just kind of thrown in there for his part in the trailer, like where he just kind of falls and just... But no, yeah. that part to me is awesome all the way around, even with considering that they gave War Machine kind of the backhand or whatever, like... It story wise, no. It it was all it's all good. I don't think I have any negatives now. I have learned to accept Aunt May this time. Honestly, I did. I mean I just kind of accepted it. I don't know. It's just the last time I was like, eh, it's a miscast, whatever. I think and she's a good actress. I've always liked her. So we'll see what she brings to the table. Cause we got a young Peter Parker with a slightly younger Aunt May, but not by much, because she's actually freaking old in real life, surprisingly, but she just looks how she does, and it's funny that they make a joke about it, so that's awesome. I just, that was just one of my things that I didn't like the first time viewing it, and now I'm just kind of like, whatever. That's not a flaw to me anymore. First time I saw this, I had heard previously that the airport scene is like this gold star, and it's like the best superhero th moment, like, sequence probably ever, and Colin himself said, comic book leaped off onto the screen. That's honestly true. I respected it so much more this time, had so much more fun with it. I just sort of accepted it for what it is. That is a fantastic sequence that I guess I, I saw the first time. I know, I knew it, I loved it. I loved that scene. I even say it in the other review, but I respected it so much more this time. Like, it really is comic book goodness come to life. Giant Man is one of the best things about it. If that didn't happen, it may not, you know, it it was, it's awesome. Simply one of my favorite Marvel movies. Like, I said that the first time, but even more now. Like, I can't, I don't know how to even fight it in my brain. Avengers or this. It's really, really, because Avengers has its own reasons to be amazing. It's the first time they team up, the first time whatever, but this is like, Oh, they've been friends a long time now, and you feel that. Like, I had never got chills more than when, like, Cat puts the shield in his chest at the end. Like, he could have killed him. His mask was off. He could have smashed his face with the shield, but he's pretty much saying, No, I am your friend, and I always will be. And also, that he also says that in the letter he sends him, which was another great moment. You know, it it didn't just end so sourly. It was just like, boom, we're, we're the Avengers. And I have a feeling that in Infinity War, there'll probably be sort of, I don't know, maybe there'll be a moment where they team up again and Tony is the one that is pretty much like, screw you, uh, General Ross. We're going to do go and do this because there's aliens attacking. What can we do? I don't know. I don't know what's to come with, like, the government. How are they going to treat the Avengers now? Like, some people signed, some people still didn't. Gives you that feeling that I got right after Winter Soldier of uncertainty. That's what's... That's what I like. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen now. It's like, okay, are they going to team up? Are they going to do this? Like, I love that. 
I'm even more excited for Infinity War now. I really am. After tonight, I am like even more so. But then what's awesome about this is we get movies before that. Spider-Man yeah. Homecoming. Yeah. Spider-Man was introduced fantastically. Amazingly would have been the better pun. Black Panther. Fantastic. Cannot wait to see his movie. Doctor Strange is this year. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Like, I love the first one. So this hopefully will be Guardians was Winter Soldier. Guardians 2 is Civil War. Like, sort of that whole play on, like, even better, I hope. Just my opinion. And I cannot wait to see these characters link over into Infinity War, which is going to bring a totally different kind of movie than the Captain America films have been. <laughs> like, when you watch this, and this is one good thing, after, especially after tonight, I realized even more this is a Captain America movie. Like, it, like, after, again, I was just, like, I processed more, I was able, and I was, like, yeah, this has, like, that Winter Soldier sort of, like, mystery to it of what's going on and, like, you know, all the action and everything, and it's just, like, near-perfect movie. Near-perfect. So after processing this movie again, what would I give it? Does my rating go down? Does it go up? Well, obviously it doesn't go down. I gave it a 9 out of 10, but now... I just gotta say it, after really, really diving into this movie, really focusing, really just taking it in again, I gotta say, and not just because I want it to be this, this is like a legit, I have reasons to back all of this up, this movie is a 10 out of 10. Yeah guys, I gotta agree with Trav on this one, I mean, now that my negatives have just been totally wiped clean, like, they were totally different from your negatives, so I mean, so that's a difference of opinion. I'm going to have to really go for a 10 out of 10. And the reason I say 10 mainly is because I can't decide what's better right now at this point. I can't decide. Avengers, the first Avengers, is a solid flat 10 out of 10, is in my top 15 movies of all time. This is like, oh crap. <laughs> like, it's literally versing it. It's literally going head to head with it in my mind, and I don't think that's something, I don't think I'll ever be able to decide that, because both are so good. You know, and it's just like, but this has its own tone and its own flavor than Avengers, but Avengers is like, man, that entire end sequence is some good stuff. This is in, no matter what, my top two Marvel Cinematic Universe films ever since 2008. And like, Iron Man is up there, but this is way up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This was a brand new thing we've never done before, but yet we've never really seen a movie two times like this before. I have, but we've never I mean, really we have, done like a video on it or whatever. Really. Like, I mean, but this is just one of those exceptions where it's it was needed. And I asked him after the first time, "Would you want to see it again?" He said yes. So it's just like boom. Second thoughts on Captain America: Civil War. What did you think of our opinion on this? Hit that like button if you made it this far. And what did you think of Captain America: Civil War? And I asked the question in the other Civil War review that still stands, what is your favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe film? It could be anything since Iron Man of 2008. Uh, any other Marvel movies, just kind of get them out of there. But Marvel Cinematic Universe especially, just comment, guys. We love discussing stuff because we love you. Something. Hold smash. I don't care. <laughs>